This morning I got my design team package from Helmar, you know, the, the glue people. And I thought y'all might like to see what I got since I'm going to be using a bunch of these glues over the next few months. So, um, some of you might be familiar with Helmar, like Helmar 450. I mean, to be honest, that's the only one of their glues I was really familiar with. I just knew that I loved it. It was great. But then... When I joined the design team, I learned they have all these other glues, too. Who knew? And, you know, here's my thinking. If one is really good, the others are probably really good, too, right? Well, we're going to find out. Okay, let me show you what they sent. They sent a lot of sticky stuff. Let's start with these because they're pretty. I love the design on the cans. Okay, they sent all of these sprays uh, this one is a workable fixative matte finish workable fixative so you know you can use that with your chalks and pastels and things that tend to move around a lot while you're working on them and they sent two different kinds of varnishes two cans each of matte varnish and gloss varnish and these are crystal clear permanent non-yellowing acid free archival safe protects your work, da 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 So these are good for all of our scrapbooking or mixed media, you know, anything like that. And, uh, okay, one container of Helmar Acid-Free Decoupage and Craft Paste. So, you know, I use a lot of Mod Podge, and I'm wondering if this is going to be something similar to that, so I'll be anxious to see how that compares. Okay, they also sent two bottles of professional acid-free glue. Sets clear, non-toxic, flexible bond, will not yellow. Um, an acid-free PVA maybe? I don't know. It says it's good for scrapbooks, precious books, documents, craft projects, book binding, mounting photographs, maybe just a good general acid-free neutral pH glue, right? Probably. Okay. Yeah, I have no clue what all this stuff is that I'm showing you. I'm still learning, but we're going to figure it out together. We will. <laughs> okay, this is their PVA, Craft and Hobby. PVA glue, non-staining, dry clear, non-toxic, safe for children, school projects, scrapbooks, crafts. Okay, this is just a general PVA glue, which is not acid-free. And this one is acid-free, so that's the difference. This one is the Helmar version of just white glue, you know, which I do use a lot of. Easily washes out of uniforms and clothes, so this is going to be great for kids projects, too. Oh, I don't, I don't know what this is. Super tack glue? I wonder if this is like tacky glue, maybe? No, because there's one in there that says tacky glue. Yeah, okay, this one is tacky craft glue. Dries clear, flexible bond, water base, household and hobbies. So this one is going to be like, you know, your super sticky thick tacky glue super tack glue dries clear flexible bond grabs extra fast wonder if this one dries sticky it doesn't say that it dries tacky maybe that's the difference here is this one it talks about it's fast grabbing so that's its thing it, it sets up really fast um, fast grabbing yeah, we're going to put it to the test. We're just going to see how fast that grab is. <laughs> we'll see about that. Okay, we did the tacky glue. And what else? Okay, these two. This is, oh, fabric stiffener. Oh, yay. I used to, um, you know, back years ago would, would do play with fabric stiffener because I haven't used this in a long time or I haven't used this particular kind ever but fabric stiffener I haven't used in a long time so this is going to be fun we're just going to have to come up with something really cool for that because I'm kind of excited about that because <laughs> it's different 
and this oh foam glue okay who's with me here on how frustrating it is to try to uh, put any kind of adhesive on like styrofoam you know either it just doesn't work and nothing sticks or the glue eats the foam you know it's one of the two so it you really have to have a special foam glue oh yeah we're gonna have to put this to the test too I've got some styrofoam balls in there that we can do something with I don't know what but by gosh <laughs> we're gonna glue them <laughs> that much I know <laughs> alrighty um, okay there's these these all these bottles look the same 450 that's different there's another 450 and another 450. Oh, this is, this makes me happy. That's different. That's different. That's different. Okay. So, three bottles of Helmar 450. This is, 450 is an extremely sticky, awesome glue. It, it I always say that it has about the consistency of a sinus infection because <laughs> it's kind of clear and gooey <laughs> let me tell you if you want something stuck this will stick it <laughs> so I am extremely excited about that and okay here's another one I've not tried and oh I got plenty so this will be good this is Helmar Cremium Cremium Premium Craft Glue it is washable oh Good for crafts, hobbies, lampshades, fabrics, leather, lace, trim. I don't know the difference between this one and the 450. I don't know if it's less gooey. So this will be fun to experiment with and, and find out. I just love the, the whole mad scientist aspect of, you know, getting stuff that you're not familiar with because you don't really know what it is will do and how it acts and it's fun to find out. <laughs> um, next up is two bottles of fabric glue and I have to admit I have been using lately I've been using a lot of Beacon's Fabri-Tac so um, I'm going to be interested to see if this is going to hold as well as that. I mean, it looks good, dries clear, flexible, grabs fast, machine washable, sets quickly, permanent. You know, it sounds great, but I don't know. We'll see. So, yeah, I'm excited to try that and see how it compares to some of the others that I've used. Okay. Oh, down to the last few. <laughs> if that's not enough. Here are two bottles of gemstone glue. This says washable glue for plastic, glass beads, rhinestones, pearls, mirrors. It won't cloud your gemstones. It's acid free and it holds gems permanently through repeated washings. So this is going to be great for, for wearable art or for um, like, you know, canvas tote bags and things like that that you carry around with you that get a lot of wear and tear and might see some weather. Oh yeah, I think this is going to be just right for that. Okay, and this is silicone adhesive sealant. General purpose clear. Uh, dries clear, permanent, flexible, industrial grade. So I bet this is going to be similar to like E6000 or any of those other, you know, heavy duty um, silicone adhesives that always smell so good. <laughs> I just love the smell of toxic things. <laughs> and okay, I was looking at these a few minutes ago. This, this boggles my mind. This is something I'm not familiar with. It says liquid scrap dots, three-dimensional, acid-free, dries clear. Okay, so my first thought is it's going to be something like glossy accents. But that didn't make sense because it doesn't have the pointy tip, you know, to make the little dots because I thought it was for embellishing. But then I started reading and it says it is for dimensional mounting. It replaces mounting tapes, you know, like foam mounting tape. So this must be a glue that, you know, when you apply it, it stays, it doesn't flatten out. Well, unless you flatten it out. 
but I'm guessing that it dries dimensionally so that when you lay something on top of it, it stays raised. This is, this is what I'm thinking based on what I'm reading, and that just fascinates me because I've never really seen something specifically for that purpose. So I'm glad they sent a bunch of it because I'm going to be really um, experimenting with that to see just exactly what it'll do. That's fine. Oh, I haven't had one of these in forever. And I have to admit, okay, this is a permanent adhesive tape runner. And they also sent two packs of two refills. So I've got four refills. These are like the best. Am I right? Um, the tape runners, whether it's these uh, small handheld ones like this or whether it's your ATG gun, they are awesome. The only problem I have with them is that they're expensive. The refills are expensive. But man, there are just times when I'm doing something and I'm thinking, oh, a tape runner would be so much easier. But I rarely have them on hand. I have a big ATG gun and it's always out of refill tapes because I'm too cheap to go buy it. <laughs> I have no idea how much these are, if, you know, if they're expensive in the world of Shannon or economical, I don't know. But I'm thrilled to have them because, like I said, there are just some some stuff that we do that just really calls for a convenient dry adhesive like this. So these are great. I'm, I'm gonna, I'll be using all these up, I'm sure. Um, these are acid-free, archival, photo safe, you know, the whole deal. It looks to me like Helmar is really, really good about um, making a variety of different glues that are safe for um, scrapbooking and, and archival projects, you know, if, if that's something that you're concerned with. Well, that is good to know. And last, I had no idea they made these. These are uh, Palmar Zap Dots. Lots of packages, y'all. Look, they have, okay, they come in clear, white, and black, or at least that's what I have here. And we've got squares in two different sizes, itty bitty and regular. And then we've got circles that, we've got some tea tiny black circles and some regular black circles. And then some clear uh, regular dots and some tiny clear dots. And then the white in regular circles and tiny circles. So they've got circles, they've got square, they've got regular size, they've got tiny, and they've got clear black and white. What else could you need? I don't know. So, oh, that's not all. I lied. I lied, I lied. Look, these were in the bottom of the box. I don't even know what these are, but I am excited about them. Because <laughs> they look like little, little glue spatulas. I don't, that's what I'm going to use them for. I guess I really should go to the website and actually learn about this stuff. And I will, just not yet. But it was, it was so funny when I saw them laying there. The first thing I thought was, oh, they're like the little ice cream spoons, little sample spoons you get at the ice cream parlor. Which made me happy because I'm on a diet and I haven't had anything sweet in a month. Yeah. But glue spreaders are good too. That's a close second to ice cream spoons. So, yeah. Those are very fun. And do you think there's a chance that this is going to keep my hands from getting all gluey? Yeah, no. It's not going to happen. But... You know, good effort anyway. Okay, that is all I have. Thank you very much, Helmar, for all of the um, wonderful supplies. I can't wait to use them. And then y'all just stay tuned because uh, you're going to be seeing a lot of these on my upcoming projects. I don't know what those projects are going to be. I never know, but, you know, something will happen. I'm, I'm just almost sure of it. So, until then... The end.